Hello everyone, how are you today? My name is Tarun Manjal and today I will show you how to uh, join Ubuntu Workstation in Microsoft Active Directory domain. I'm using Server 2003 but you can actually use uh, uh, Server 2000 or Server 2008 as well. So let me just show you the configuration of my server. Um, my host name is Computer2 Primary DNS Affix Domain1.local IP address is 198.168.2.14 this is a DNS server as well uh, I do not have DHCP enabled as you can see so let's close this out and switch back to Ubuntu so in Ubuntu what you have to do is uh, you have to actually um, what you have to do in Ubuntu is you have to edit a couple of files uh, basically you have to make sure you get your Ubuntu station can, wor uh, can ping your server uh, by IP address and fully qualified domain name as you can see 192.168.2.14 uh, it's, it's pinging but it's not going to be able to ping uh, uh, by fully qualified no domain name right we have this error um, and for the to get over this problem what, you have, what we have to do is we have to edit a couple of files so what we do is we type in sudo gedit slash etc slash hosts file uh, provide your sudo password once the file opens up you are going to uh, put your IP address and uh, host name in this file 192.168.2.14 your host name is computer2 save this close it next file you have to edit is sudo gedit slash etc slash nsswitch.conf in this file there's a line that says hosts hosts right here uh, comment this out And type in the file. Ho uh, type in the line hosts files DNS MDNS4. Save it and close it. Try it again if you can ping. But I don't think you would be able to, um, uh, because uh, I mean in my case because I do not have DHCP installed, so I won't be able to. I know that. So for that, what we have to do is we have to edit two other files. One is resolve.conf. in this I'm going to comment all this out and then type in search and my domain name and then type in name server and my servers IP address save this and close it but what happens is uh, uh, this resolve.com is going to get rewritten as soon as we reboot our computer so for that uh, to get rid of uh, to get over that problem what we have to do is we have to edit this file sudo gedit slash etc slash dhcp3 slash dhclient.conf and in this file uh, we have to type two lines supersede -E domain name do not replace this with your domain name instead replace this with your domain name where I'm putting my domain name you replace that with your domain name and prepend domain hyphen name hyphen servers and IP address of your server semicolon and you're done now I'm going to edit one more file which is called sudo vi sudo because I want my um, domain user to be an admin in this um, on this machine so what I will do is I will type in domain one slash slash Tarun Munjal that's the user that I want to be an admin here equals bracket all bracket close all now if this is just for a single user here user privilege uh, specification if you want to add uh, a group then you have to add that group and members of admin group here so I am going to type in percent domain one slash slash your uh, uh, group which is domain 
space instead of space I'm going, going to use carrot that's what you have to do users space all equals bracket all bracket close space all that's it press control O to close it and enter now it's gonna write out then uh, control X to exit um, now we're all set all we have to do is we have to go open up synaptic and I've already searched just type in likewise and you will see these options and uh, you choose this likewise mark this for installation mark any other packages needed for installation as well click on apply and apply again once it's uh, installing it uh, you're going to see uh, configuring a uh, Kerberos authentication is going to come up just click forward you don't have to do anything else with that uh, as soon as you click forward it's going to end uh, uh, the installation of um, um, likewise open GUI as well there we go we click forward and it's installing the software And here we have um, um, likewise installed. Once likewise is, is installed, you go in system administration and you will see this new option Active Directory Membership. And you click that. Once it opens up in domain, type in your domain name and click join. Here you provide your um, credentials from domain Arun Manjal and uh, password. Joining domain. It's going to join the domain. Uh, it's going to give you a warning that restart is required. As soon as you restart, then you can. Uh, log back in with, with your uh, Active Directory uh, credentials. Uh, also keep that in mind that any user uh, can join any computer by default to a domain. Uh, it does not have to be an administrator. Okay so once it says warning system restart required you will see domain joining succeeded. Close this out and do not say leave domain just close it and uh, restart and then you can join with uh, you can log in with your credentials from uh, Active Directory okay so we're here we are back uh, I'm going to log in with my domain credentials and we're logging in uh, also um, this is going to be successful so you are just uh, join your Ubuntu to your Active Directory domain. Um, hope this helps. Uh, you can check out my website at munjaltharn.co.cc which is m-u-n-j-a-l dot c-o dot c-c. Take care and have a good day.